FSD beta version 11. Infamous <laughs> version of 11. So FSD beta version 11 is the first beta version which fully integrates the new models, the new software tech stacks that we had for streets and local city driving. This should be single stack, the right? Highway. This it's should be single stack. stack. Single yeah. stack. So what it seems is it's basically replacing the navigate on autopilot models that are used for your highway driving. Uh, it's going to, re it replaces it with the same stuff that uses for your city street driving. Um, it's only out to employees. So it's the first phase, or I shouldn't say only employees. It's the very first like bleeding edge alpha testers, I guess <laughs> is the, if you want to call them that, but the, the beta tester, like early, early, early adopters. Um, but I think it paves way for the rest of us actually getting it, um, you know, by the end of this year. You know, uh, Tesla, you know, Elon said he wants to do a wide release of FSD beta or to make it not really be beta, but the FSD driving tech to uh, everyone um, <laughs> by the end of this year. And this is this is looking promising yep. as long as there's no major issues. And it seems to uh, I, I will follow this with with interest, because, as you know, you both of you that I pulled, I had my car pulled out of the beta program. I had them remove my VIN and I'm, I'm out of the beta program completely. If this in fact gets released to the general public, mm -hmm. I will probably subscribe again just to see what, if any differences are. And I think uh, for you to get back in, right, you kind of have to downgrade or something or they don't allow well you that, that's that. going to be an interesting question now isn't it because i'm on dot 40 i think right now without any fsd yeah it, it depends because there's a, there's a bunch of different versions so i hear yeah. i can throw some numbers at you guys if you if you're interested so <laughs> current current fsd beta users are on software version 2022.20 yeah which is dot 19 in antique <laughs> which is very old at this point. They've had 20, 2022.24, 20, 28, 32, 36, 40 is the current latest. So uh, 40.5, so 2022.40.5 is FSD beta version 11. So the FSD beta version 11 is actually on the same branch of code that Mike has not. Right, so I'm, I'm on 40. Beta. I'm on 40 right now. I got You're that. on 40. La I got that last week. Right, and so FSD beta eleven is now should on be that, that stack. Version. Should, should be, be that. that stack. Yeah. Um. So I will actually get upgraded when that eventually comes out because I'm stout now on like super old two months ago software. Basically, I, I'm curious to see if they're going to release a a dot three or not. Um. Because you know Elon back at AI Day had talked about uh, releasing. Uh. So now we're going to get confusing, but the uh the ten. Dot sixty nine dot three version was supposed to come out after AI Day, and technically we got ten dot sixty nine dot two dot three, and then two dot four is right. what we're currently on. So it's like, is there going to be a ten dot sixty nine dot three, or is it just going to go to eleven? Or are we going to have several other point releases? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It would be very Spinal Tap and Elon to just go to eleven. <laughs> just put it right to eleven. Put yeah, to eleven. That's right. So. Um, hopefully soon, you know, hopefully it depends, it depends on how it works, but I would say usually plebs get it about a couple weeks to a month or so after the employees get it. So it's, it's usually a good sign that we're, we're going to have it soon. Um, and initial early feedback seems positive. It seems like there are actual improvements with how the car drives on the highway. Um, the, the, the ways in which the model works, uh, with how it does perception and planning and route guidance and all that seems to be pretty good, but only time will tell, and I'm sure half of our listeners that have beta will tell us how it's awful and it works significantly <laughs> worse, and they will cancel just like Mike did, and then the other half will be like me and go, hey, this is actually pretty good and seems to work pretty well on my cars. There were notes about how, I will say, I was reading the, the release notes. They, some of the release notes you know, kind of leaked around this employee-only release, and it did specifically mention uh, detecting like high-speed vehicles like uh, of like motorcycles and like electric scooters and those types of things like zipping and zooming around yeah, the car. Yeah. It does a much better job of tracking them and, and being aware of what's going on when they're like weaving through traffic or not. <laughs> I will say the other kind of cool thing in the notes that I'm hoping will help improve some things is it talked about a, a performance optimization with somewhere of like 15, 20% or something of improving the networking communication. I think they did a protocol improvement of the, of the ethernet between the ML stack, like the, the computer doing the, the self-driving stuff 
and the visualization computer. So maybe we'll get like more responsive or more real-time visualization as well. Cause I've noticed when you're in like a highly densely populated yeah, area lags, or whatever, it lags a bit. It, it lags a bit or it like prunes things out. It doesn't render everything because it can't get yeah. all that information in time. Um, so that's another improvement that we're, I'm looking forward to see. In addition to uh, adding the interior camera and audio, cause you know, why not? Um, if, if, you know, you can opt into it. Uh, I would also like it to record the, uh, the display, uh, the, the, you know, the, Oh, what you're seeing on the screen, what the car thinks it's seeing. Yeah. yeah what I see on the screen, I'd like that recorded as well. Right. Cause that, that, uh, yeah, I think that that lets you know, okay, what did the car think it saw? And so you get an accident say, and this is, you know, your, your recording, like, did it see this thing? Did it see that, uh, that guy running? At 70 miles an hour down the street. Well, again, currently, just because it sees it doesn't mean it'll display it on that display. But you're right. At least it gives you more insight into what the car. If, if, if only seen. they had LIDAR. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. We're not going to open that can. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, your, your only uh, course of action is a GoPro suction cup mount to the. <laughs> the side there right not a bad idea i'm looking at the screen yeah yeah they should have a screen record option why not <laughs>